Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. Let's have some PC audio, shall we? Probably gonna help. Uh, so, it's been a hot minute since I've played this game, uh, and by hot minute I mean uh, 10 days or so. So, if I remember correctly, we need. Oh, right, we killed her. Brilliant. We need to go and get ourselves a key. Hello. Yeah, for such a short game, it... Oh, dear. It has been taking me so far... Oh, I don't know. A couple of months, it feels like, to actually complete it. Actually, it hasn't been a couple of months. It's been... Ah, this is the right one. It's been probably about three weeks. It's me? No, it's got to be more than that. Um, ooh, hello. Run! Oh! took her a while to realize that we were going. Now this, ah. Uh, I thought that was an enemy then. The way the fan was just kind of flashing around in the distance over there. Oh god. You know, I forgot how fantastic this game looks and feels. So we had the post box key. That's it. And some 10 milli. We like our 10 milli around these parts. God, the lighting and everything. The way it draws over things. You know, uh, I have just finished uh, the Callisto Protocol. At the time of recording this, I've finished it completely. And, yeah. It was okay. But this is something a little bit more than that. So we've read all these docs. There's just so much detail here in, like, every scene. The way the light bounces off things is really impressive. Anywho. Right, yep. I did wonder if that was going to alert them to our presence. And, of course, it certainly does. Um, so, we've got a post box key, which seems to be something that we want to have a bit of a good look at. So the post box was somewhere. Um, I can't actually remember. I think it was in the north hallway. Yeah, north hallway. Let's go check out the north hallway. Ah, fuck. We've got two... Oh, God. Protectors. Um, oh, what are those two? What are those two skulking around for? Ah, shit. Ow, that hurts. Nope, this is not the right one. But we can check out Adler's... Nope, yep, we can. Go through there, we can go through there. We can check out Adler's... Um, bedroom. Because we have the key. So let's have a little look. Do we have any health, actually? I'm not sure we do. I'm not sure we do. Right. Okay, we're back. Now the distraction has left. So, it's locked. Eagle key required. Wait, but... We do have an eagle key, don't we? We actually do have an eagle key. But, it's, yeah, I guess it's in our box. Go away, go away. Run, 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 run. Okay, nope. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Ow. Pain. That went quite poorly, to be honest. Pro it's probably going to have to come a time where we start taking out more of these guys. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. That was kind of strange. Make a really weird sound when they go down. It's kind of satisfying in a way. Yeah, we're in a really bad way now. Uh, let's use the bullets. 
So we need to go upstairs, I reckon. Well, there's the piano room there. I guess we could go get our evil key. Uh, right. Let's drop that bullet back. We probably want some health patches. Let's retrieve two. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to start um, trying to preserve our health a little bit more than we're doing. Because... We're starting to, like, really get ourselves battered. Uh, let's go for the eagle key as well. Because I'm sure we had it. Uh, we got, a lot, we got like, nearly 80. We got nearly 100 bullets in all. Right, we do have the eagle key. Okay. So, I'm curious. What is through the eagle door? There's a door up there that apparently we haven't even examined yet, so I'm guessing it's locked. Yeah, it's it's definitely locked. <laughs> There's no going through there, that's for sure. I really don't want to get into uh, a situation with the shielded robot, because I have a feeling we're probably going to have a bad time if we do that. Let's go downstairs. There's the library. <laughs> All right, so that's through to the eagle. Ah, library key. Oh, my bad. Wrong door. Right, let's run past these ladies. Try not to take a hit. Ah, this is not a fantastic place to be, is it? Hmm. Could we drop both of them? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Alright. That works. That certainly stops us taking a couple of extra hits, doesn't it? Alright, ah, okay. So. Use the eagle key. So, what the cheese and biscuits is in here, then? Adler's Diary. Date. 84-21-6. Now, what kind of date that is? Is that the year? Then the day? Then the month? Maybe. I have been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear to the mechanism... I can hear it faintly clicking, like a clock. Without Cobri's help, it has become much harder to co coordinate the logistics, Cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it's how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. I went to see her today. Her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight, another memory from my Gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform, there was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them, and I asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. I was playing with that mechanical lock box again, which I'm now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff. But no such replica was ever stationed on Serplinsky. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say. But never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all the pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes in a room. More sick, 
making my work even harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that our protector staff decrease. So does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, guest out workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. So it seems like these replica guys are actually in charge. Another diary field for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Huh. So they have their own thoughts and stuff and they what's interesting is they know that they're machines, which is interesting. Alistair. Land Survey Ship Technician Replica Magpie. Uh, fifth generation Pioneer Specialist. Framed biomechanical with carbon fiber reinforced polyurethane shell and a titanium skeleton. That's what we are, I believe. A versatile combat engineer unit, primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration oh yeah went in okay which sports a bullet resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neuro ne neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the Central Neural Archive on Ventia. New Elster units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. Okay. So are we like an original unit or... Are we one of these copies? I have no idea. It's interesting though. All right, anyway, let's inspect. So we've got some astronomical cards here. There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like something is missing from the mechanism. Right, okay. And we know it's not that, because we know there's a post box that we can use that on, which was... Uh, somewhere. I mean, everything somewhere, I guess. Sleeping ward, elevator lobby. Right. So, B6. Got ya. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we can't do anything with this yet. Fair enough. Let's see if we can go down to B6. Nothing else we can play with. Okay. Interesting. So. That's the flood overflow. So we haven't tried this yet. So that's the mine shaft. Right, so we need the admin key to get down to the mine shaft. Okay, well, we don't have that. Which I'm guessing is next on the agenda. So this is eight, seven, six. Right. Now, what is in this post box? Ah, the library key. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Does that make sense? I mean, I guess it's a key that we need. And it's back down on floor um, 8, which is fine. Uh, do we want to go save it? Potentially, but... B7. There's no way of saving it here. You know what? Let's risk it for a biscuit. Let's go down. 
And actually, if we're here, we can just go up. And up. Ah, uh, we can only go to five. Uh, that's fine. Floor five apparently is end of the line. Let's go drop a save. And do we need to jiggle our junk around? Possibly. We'll drop one there. Okay, so... We're going into the library. We've got seven rounds in the gun. Um, uh, I don't know if we're going to need any health. Trouble is, I don't really want to take anything. Um, I guess we could take some more bullets. Just a few. We're going to take five more bullets. Because I don't want to run into a situation where we've got loads of bullets to pick up and we can't actually use them all. So if we've got two in, in our inventory, we're, we're probably not going to pick up that many. But who knows? I guess we'll find out. Uh, and yes, I know, Windows, can you stop telling me that I've got points to spend? I know I've got points to spend. I kind of honestly don't care about the points that I have to spend. You don't need to constantly remind me. Like, it's not even every ten minutes. It's like every, like, it's like every seven minutes or something. It's really obnoxious. Um, so, if we go straight through the east hallway, I guess. And head straight down. Past these two sleeping beauties. Hopefully they're not going to wake up anytime soon. Hello, ladies. Coming through. Oh, Jesus. That's fine. Everything is fine. Right, this is the library, isn't it? Yeah, library. Let's have a little poke around. And, ooh, oh. Hello. Someone hiding in here. Minor. Replica overview. Minor. Mining nuclear tech. High security replica. Minor. So she's a Generation 3 Industrial Specialist. We we killed her, didn't we? Because she was one of the bosses. Well, I say one of the bosses. She was the first boss. Biomechanical with high security reinforced armor plated servo shell. Yeah. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the HIMA units. Uh, with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork, despite their hulking bodies underneath their face shields a standard generation three cranial construction. Ah, can be found. Okay, so their bodies are like big and bulky and they're not like in a suit or anything. They literally are just a big monstrous thing making maintenance and social uh, interfacing as easy as with any other replica model please mo uh, note that uh, the Hynar neural pattern is not suited for combat use for combat applications the sapper variant should be used which employs a combat capable persona in the same frame for more information see right hmm Interesting. So we can inspect that. We've got repair patch. Definitely have a repair patch. Replica known issues. Previous experience with this replica model has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for this unit. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, yep, so this is the Kilber. Great care should be given to, um, oh yeah, it's the Clobris, Clobris. 
Their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Right, these are the ones that we have to dial into a certain frequency, I think. Like most bioresonant individuals, Clobries will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresident connection, neuropattern development in um, cobris, I don't know how you exactly pronounce that, but uh, varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units a cadre, uh, of a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. So they don't like being alone, I guess. However, once the majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it's important to decommission Cobra units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Cobris should have access to a well-stocked library. Right, they like libraries. So this one hasn't gone crazy yet. We'll definitely take the repair spray. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. The others. They've changed. We no longer see him sing in unison I used to be able to see into their minds we were as one together we guided them all but now I can't understand their thoughts anymore I've never been so alone before they're still together and I am here outside and they won't let me in I cannot stand their song anymore this is the only place where I don't have to hear them this is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I had become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. Ooh, that's dark. I hate this.